What did baseball in America look like over a hundred years ago? I'm going to tell you a little bit about America's pastime and show you some images from its earliest days. The sport actually began in the 1700s, although some people think it started much later, but uh, the earliest records say back to the 1700s, and it's thought to have evolved from uh, cricket and other similar European sports. But baseball is a uniquely American game. Organized play began around 1845 with the forming of the New York Knickerbockers. Uh, back in its early days, you know, we hear about the Black Sox scandal in the early 1900s, but gambling went with baseball as early, uh, really right after the sport began. So the first gambling scandal, um, the first known gambling scandal happened in 1865 and three players were banned from the game. I'm going to show you some incredible images of the history of baseball dating all the way back to the early 1900s and then moving closer to 1950. This first one here is the baseball park in Cuba, Missouri. So this is a small town baseball park. It's no major league stadium. You can see there's not a big grandstand. There's just uh, a small little wooden stand behind the plate very far behind the plate may i add that's definitely longer than the distance to first base it looks like so what like 100 feet or more behind the plate but my theory is that the grandstands were built so far away from home plate because they didn't have any uh, protection so they're just sitting there watching the game so if somebody you know fouled a ball back or something then that's just uh, they don't have much time to react so that's my theory to why they built those so far back uh this again it's just a small town amateur teams um would play against each other uh, i'm sure they had a team in cuba and then teams would come from maybe st louis or other baseball clubs around the area but this one is really neat because you have the railroad tracks going right by there you have the water tower in people's houses um so you can see a little bit of what it was like but again not that, I mean, on the first base and third base side, you just have some guy standing out there, maybe a coach, and then it looks like only one umpire standing behind the pitcher. This next one is a professional baseball stadium. So this is the Chicago Cubs West Side Park. And this is probably around 1910 or a little bit earlier. So this is around uh, the time when the Cubs were winning um, the 1907 to 1908 World Series. And you can see here the much larger crowd than the first image I showed you, the buildings of Chicago in the background, the players here uh, warming up for a game. This one, I believe, is an amateur baseball park unless they had a pro team in Buffalo back then that I'm, I don't know about, but I think it's amateur. And um, this grandstand though is still pretty large. You can see there's a game actually in progress here. Uh, batter in the box, pitcher about to throw the ball, looks like a runner on second base, and then maybe uh, another runner on first there. But this one is from, again, around the same time, around 1910. This is the baseball park in Cleveland. And this one's a little bit different because you can see, uh, you don't see much of the field. It's mostly just the outside of the stadium and the surrounding neighborhoods, which I think is really neat because, you know, you think of Cleveland as this big city, especially, in the um, early 1900s but still today big city with a lot of big buildings but where the stadium was located back then is just a bunch of houses and residential buildings you can see the tallest building is maybe uh, three or four stories but it's really cool to just see the baseball stadium towering over everything else around it um, and that's really symbolic of how it was the place to be back then and now uh, I mean, if you have a baseball stadium in a city, there's other huge skyscrapers around it usually. This one, again, I think is another uh, amateur baseball stadium in Wilming, uh, sorry, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. But you have here the crowds uh, on the side, grandstand behind the home plate. Again, very far behind home plate. If anybody knows what the deal is with that, I think it's because uh, they didn't want to get nailed in the face with a baseball, but if you actually know, let me know. Or it could be just forced perspective and it's still the same distance, but things just look closer on TV. This next one is definitely an amateur stadium uh, watching a state league ball game in Traverse City, Michigan. I recently showed this postcard on a what sold video and I think I priced it too low. It sold for just over $50, but it sold almost immediately and there were no other copies of this out there. It's a very, very cool image because you have the 
uh, crowd here. Um, when you didn't have grandstand like that on the first and third base lines, people could just pull their horses right up to the field and watch the game. But again, you have the more formal grandstands pretty far behind home plate there. Um, but a lot of people just watching the state league ball game. This next image is not a what you would think of as a traditional baseball park. It's a recreation field at the Illinois State Prison in Joliet. So they don't definitely don't have as much room, but you can see here the diamond um, pitcher in the middle of the diamond. They even have an umpire there. I'm not sure if they brought an umpire in or they let one of the prisoners umpire the game. You know, a lot of people gathered around watching uh players but it's neat that they had baseball um in the prisons back then this image is just a park so it's not a formal baseball field but just a park where they happen to play baseball in bridgeport connecticut you can see here it looks like home plate and the catcher um but they look like i don't know if that's how they dressed for baseball back then they look like they just came from church but Maybe those are their baseball clothes, but I mean, you got a crowd here watching the game, um, catcher, and then it looks like another player. This one, going back to professional baseball fields, I believe this is a professional field. Uh, Forbes Field, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. See here the grandstands, uh, game action going on. You got, it looks like the center fielder here, umpire in black, stands out in the middle of the field, um, but yeah, live game going on there. These next two are definitely a professional field and they show a different angle of the same field. Uh, this is the Boston Braves field, Boston, Massachusetts. And you have a, a game going on here. I think this one is really cool because it's around the same time that Babe Ruth was playing for the Boston Braves. Now he only played for them very briefly before he was traded to the Yankees, but this is around that same era. So if you think back to the very uh, beginning when Babe Ruth started, that's how old this postcard is. And you can see here, it looks like uh, the game hasn't started yet. Players are just warming up. A lot of people in the stands. But even back then, you can see it's not really, you know, there's no skyscrapers in the background. You've got a house out there, just like a regular house. Um, very small house out there. And this next one shows closer up views of the players. So shows them getting ready for the game. You can see the cool ad out in the uh, first baseline for the Boston Herald and then the crowd watching the game. Uh, this next one is for the uh, Polo Grounds in New York, home of the New York, New York Giants. And this one's taken from the outfield. Um, you can see the crowd in the outfield with their baseball hats on, all gathered to watch a game. I imagine Sunday afternoon game, I don't know. That's just what I imagine based on what everybody's wearing, but they might have just dressed like that all the time back then. And again, that one you can see here, it's uh, got pretty big stands, but you can still see trees in the background and a few buildings, but not surrounded by skyscrapers. This one, I believe is a little bit later. I'm not sure of the exact date on this one. I think 20s or 30s. Uh, probably not any later than that, but this is the baseball park in Benton Harbor, Michigan, House of David Baseball Park. And again, you got a game going on here. I like the smaller parks because uh, with the larger ones, you can't really see any of the people in the stands. It just looks like a bunch of dots. But with uh, the smaller fields, you can actually see the people gathered to watch the game. Again, looks like they're in their Sunday best. And instead of the earlier image where people pulled up their horses to watch the game, these people just parked their cars right by the stadium. And I imagine there were a lot of uh, broken windows back then with how close the cars are. This one, again, moving a little bit later, is uh, Wilmington Park, home of the Blue Rocks in Wilmington, Delaware. This is a linen postcard, so it's probably around the late 30s or 40s, maybe even into the early 50s. Uh, you can see here it's... A baseball game at night which they didn't have we didn't see these lights in any other images because they didn't play baseball at night back then because they didn't have the uh, electric light set up usually and I believe the Chicago Cubs were one of the last teams to get electric lights in uh, Wrigley Field and they used to only play during the day and this last image here is a baseball park in st. Petersburg Florida so definitely not a pro baseball park but might have been a spring training park where pro baseball teams played and uh, definitely 
looks like sunny Florida right next to the ocean. You got palm trees in the background, uh, stands of folks watching the game, palm trees in the outfield. Just a really neat one right there, game going on. Al Lang Field, the Sunshine City. I really enjoyed making this uh, video about a history, brief history of baseball. If you thought baseball um, was founded by, you know, Abner Doubleday, or uh, you didn't know much about the history of baseball, didn't know what baseball stadiums like used to look like back in the day, I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching.